if you want to save the life of a person, you give a high amount, at least 10 milligrams or more. If it's just for a sleep purpose, give a small amount. What are the typical melatonin doses uh, you start with? Because I've had other experts on the channel that are talking about 20 milligrams uh, and up because of the antioxidant um, capabilities yeah. uh, of it. Uh, what are your uh, doses? There are two options. Um, when you don't have a disease and you don't just want to sleep better, you take a small dose of oxytocin, uh, from melatonin of uh, something like sublingual. So it shouldn't be oral. Sublingual 0.1 milligram or 0.2 milligrams or 0.05 milligrams. So a very low dose. If it's oral, it's one milligram, but oral doesn't work so well for melatonin. So it's better to take a sublingual. Now, um, I had with the COVID an accident. I had a hemorrhage, yeah, or, or a stroke, as you, because those vaccines are so powerful. And uh, fortunately, I recovered a lot, but it took a time. I took then 40 milligrams of melatonin, and so I recovered very quickly. But the same day, and and uh, um, I had to treat also other patients with stroke, and, and you give enormous dose of, oxy, of melatonin. You can even up give 400 milligrams. Above the dose of one to five milligrams, there's no more ex overdose symptoms to expect, but you, you can have very good antioxidant effects. So if you want to save the life of a person, you give a high amount, at least 10 milligrams or more. If it's just for a sleep purpose, give a small amount. That works better. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop, use the join button next to the subscribe. On mobile, use the join link in the description.